I should have given you the bok choy leaf. Hmm, she says, it's not broccoli, it's bok choy. You want this? I guess she eats bok choy. Okay, good. Now we know we eat bok choy too. Hi everyone, it's Robbie from Southern California. You know, this is just gonna be a quick thing. I was doing it for myself and I thought I might show you. I need to put some tool around here because I planted some purple bok choy and last night something came and chewed on it. Now I don't want to lose that because this is my deck garden and this is nice to grab whether I want to use it like a salad or whatever. So I'm going to tool this up really fast. I'm going to keep certain things in here. Keeping the purple bok choy, I'm going to keep the purslane. I've been making a lot of purslane tea, but I am going to remove this right now because it's in the way. So this is some walking onions. I'm gonna move it somewhere. Look at how, look at the size of it. This is really big. But I'm gonna move this into another pot. Could even move it in here or give it its own pot because I wanna put some steaks in here. So let me move that there. Is when I put these tomato steaks in here, they're not gonna hold. As you can see, they're gonna move. So I need to make some sort of hole here. There's a couple different ways of doing it. I'm just gonna do it today the quickest and easiest way that will work. What I can do is make holes for zip ties. And the zip tie could go right in here. I may have to put two of them together. The other way is making big holes and using yarn or string. And I can tie it that way for the garden, whatever way is gonna work. And then I can run my tool around it and attach it with a clothespin and when they're big enough I can take it down. Right now I want to protect the baby plants. I'm presuming some sort of rodent got in here and it only ate the one but it could have been a bird too in the morning and I might not have seen it. Let me see if my soldering iron is hot enough. Looks like it may be. Let me get a hole up here really fast. Might put two holes there. Two holes there before it cools down. I love how you can heat it up in the house. And then you can just bring it outside and do this quickly. And look at that. Look at what I can do. And I don't need to have an extension cord or anything. And if I wanted to, I may want to make a hole up here and do it. But since it's still hot enough, this way I have a choice of different ways of doing it. And totes are wonderful because you can make the holes and then do it any way you want. So this one I tied with yarn. You can use anything you want. Just put it through the holes. That one I did one zip tie. And then here I actually put two zip ties together. It's just easier to do. You can see one's yellow and one is red. And I put two zip ties. I can cut them later or leave them. Now all I have to do is string my tool on and a clothespin. And I can get rid of whatever chewed that up last night and get these started. These baby purple. Beautiful purple bok choy. I took my bok choy out of here. This is where I was growing the purple bok choy. We got all the bok choy now in there very quickly. Yes, I know you're there. And then in there when I was digging, I found all this garlic. This is from last year. See the garlic? So I'm just, just going to be putting it back in here. I'm just going to spot it all over. I can't do it and hold the camera. But I'm just going to push them in. And wherever they come up later, they come up, they'll probably stay semi-dormant but they'll be fine and they'll come up between the bok choy because bok choy once we eat it it's gone now i'm just going to cut my tool i could cut it in half and staple it together or do something but you know what i can take this off later and use it somewhere else so i'm going to cut it straight just follow the line which is the line of the tool the cardboard it doesn't have to be perfect and now I'm gonna leave it doubled up for now. Just gonna wrap it around. I could use zip ties. I'm gonna to try to keep the plants all on the inside. I can make this tent the whole thing up if I wanted to. I don't think anything flew in. I think they crawled in, but I could be wrong. That's it. We're basically done. And um, like I said, I'm not. I'm gonna leave the top open. Though I could close the whole thing and I might change my mind and do it in a day or so, close it, because this way I won't have any butterflies or anything get in. Maybe, I, well, I can't right now until I get rid of this. 
I think I will just do it like this. That's it. And if I decide, I could pull it over the top. You can zip tie it if you're going to leave this on for a long time. That's another way of doing it. You just go back and zip tie it. Whatever way is going to work for you. We're done. It's all wrapped. I'll bring you over to show you. Isn't that cool? See, I had to put tool on the broccoli because I was losing all the broccoli. And I just wrapped that one from the bottom. That one I did have the top closed. So I ended up with broccoli. And here, look at that. I've got tool wrapped all the way around. Just four stakes. If I didn't have the pole here, I could have easily just draped it over. It's big enough. And now it's all inside there. And all should be good. And once they're big enough, whatever was bothering it, we'll probably leave it alone because... Animals really like the, the tenderest, youngest leaves off a new plant. But now it's all covered. Use clothespins. And like I said, I could use zip ties if I wanted to make it a little more permanent. And if I decide I can go back, and maybe I will drape it over the top and keep the, the middle open here so I can unclip it and get in to service it. As far as watering it, I can just spray it with my hose, with my light mister, right through the tool, and I don't have to do anything else. So I hope I've given you a quick idea of how to use tool in a pinch really fast and how you can make holes in a tote or a plastic container with your soldering iron, which is now over there cooling off. See, it's not plugged in. It's just cooling off. And it's the quickest, most handiest tool I've got in the garden along with my tool. So the sun is coming up just coming up now in the sky and I wanted to come out and see how my purple bok choy was doing. So beautiful, quiet. It's doing perfect. I ended up here. I decided I'm going to go ahead and put two zip ties. You could use wire if you want. Just slip any, any little wire. If you use string you'll have to use like an embroidery needle to bring it through so you could do that. Did it on each one but the front opens. The front I have a clothespin. Let me move the clothespins. See, I can go in here now, water it, service my little baby plants, but it worked. So whatever stink a little rat or what came through will not touch the tool. So it's that simple. And I went ahead and draped it over the top because I figured I don't need any butterflies, cabbage butterflies in here, so why shouldn't I? Nothing needs to be pollinated. This would probably need to be pollinated. I'm not sure. That's the purslane, but I don't care. I only need the leaves, I don't need the flowers. So that's it. So it is doing good. I don't see any roly polies. Now, if I saw any roly polies, I'd pick them up and toss them in the soil out of here. But all looks good. It's looking really good. As from yesterday, I'm going to trim off any leaves that were damaged. It, it looks really good. So I'm going to close pin this back. Look at the news. Almost do it with one hand holding the camera. Hey, look at that. That's it. Isn't that cool? And there it is. All done. And you could do that with any bucket. Or you could do it in the ground too. You, there's uh, obviously you've seen me do it in the ground, but totes are so easy because you can just go ahead, make any holes you want in the tote to hold whatever type of stick or whatever you want to do. It works great. Okay, let's come back in a few days and see what this looks like. So let's see how the bok choy is doing. All right, all looks good. No flying insects will come in and drop their, their eggs there, and all should be good. Have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye!